I wanted to do this reading for a client as a, as a video just as an example so I've taken six cards covering six lunar months rather than calendar months so we're in the we're about the 20th of January 2010 at the moment so this is lunar months from that date I've taken six cards and I've just outlined summarized the cards on the mind map here the first card I took was the three of worlds which is an earth card and it's uh, nurturing is the the key word that goes with that particular card so it's very much about things growing and and building it's got fruit on the card so it's about fruitfulness as well uh, so that would be the in calendar terms that would be covering the month of February the bulk of the month of February it's uh, the colors are greens oranges reds there's a little bit of blue there there's some some brown earthy colors as well so the, the colors are very earthy and it's reds and oranges so in in chakra terms if I can translate this into chakra terms it's it's your sacral chakra and your base chakra that you're focusing on at the moment which is relationships and finances essentially and I know that there's some some musical things coming up for you in, in the middle of the year but that's not what this particular card is focusing on this is about relationships it's about networking so it's about building new relationships as well as developing existing relationships with people and the next card that I took would cover the second lunar month and it's the seven of crystals and it's uh, uh, the key word is, that goes with this card is dullness so it's it's feeling it's a feeling of being frustrated or run down the colors are, are washed out a little bit there's a lot of blues but it, they're cold blues on this particular card and the the oranges are, are kind of ochre colored oranges and browns uh, the main thing that I get from this card when I'm when I'm tuning in for you is that the the blues so your speech is going to be dull it's likely to be dull for a period of time it won't last very long but it's it's just be, be aware of of your speech patterns of your vocabulary of your the way you're expressing your communication because that's the it's a seven of crystals it's a card that's related to to the mind and to air so it's about speech and communication and using your voice in a particular way but it's about being frustrated and feeling lethargic about your communication so just be careful that you don't fall into a trap there for a period of time uh, it will pass as I say if you do get into this particular situation it it will resolve itself within the lunar month so the next card that I took for you for the third month is logic so to get out of the the situation with uh, feeling lethargic or having a lack of, of mental energy of, of intellectual energy the way to get around that is to be logical and to make lists and to brighten yourself up with uh, a clear plan of action and use some logic and some some reasoning and some deduction uh, I'm not saying don't ignore I'm not saying ignore your intuition your intuition is a strong part of what you do but use the logical part of your brain as well use the the rational side of things and plan things out prepare in advance is what this card's telling me so the next card that I took for the fourth lunar month we're moving now we've moved from earth through the crystal cards which are the the mental associated cards and we're moving into uh, wands oh, I'll put this down as worlds but it's actually wands uh, so we're moving from earth to mind to the spiritual side of what you're doing and the uh, the card I want to change that actually one I remember the sage of worlds should be on here the sage of wands so let me just change that over while I think about it there we go that's done 
so this particular card is about opening of spiritual intuition of about of insight it's very bright oranges and reds and there's a uh, animals associated with it as well it's a sh shamanistic card or a pagan type of opening that you're going through it's very old it's opening maybe some past life experience opening that up and using some of that and developing that particular side of what you do into your music so it's about opening intuition for the music which I think you've all I know you've already got but this is a another way of doing that it's an extra string to your bow if you like now for month five uh, I picked a card called the six of wands which is a a lighter card it's lighter blues and it's got hands it's about using your hands and it's about jewelry and being creative and about sculpture it's a lot of hands on this card so it's about doing things with your hands very physical card but it's physical in terms of your mind it's about how you're directing things it's becoming a director and trusting the trust keyword is about trusting that you've prepared things properly trusting that things will work in your favor and trusting the people around you to have generosity that's the word that I'm picking up with it that there'll be some generosity there and there'll be some expansion it's expansion it's about Jupiter in this particular case it's a kind of in pagan terms it's about the the Jupiter aspect of the panthe pantheon and the final card that I've picked is month six which is the woman of wands again it's another intuition based card it's a sensor the key word here and what I'm picking up with this it's a multicolored card but there's big oranges again and it's about multicolored kind of in integration of multiple colors so multiple aspects of what you do it's about integration so as we move into the sixth month then it'll be about integrating what you've developed over the, the period of time that we're talking about for the reading. I'm also getting a, a feeling that this is the time when your, your spiritual guidance will kind of move into a different level, as we maybe a, in symbolic terms a change of guide. So one guide moving, moving on and somebody else coming in to help you to develop what you've been doing for the, the last period of time for the six months of the reading here and I'm going to stop there it's just simply because it's a it's a video reading I can go into more detail with you in person when I see you but that's just to give an idea of the type of readings that I can do with the Void of Tarot they lend themselves particularly to um, vision quest and shamanic and more pagan readings but this is this particular reading is very much a vision vision crest reading for for yourself and I'm going to close there my name is Dennis Barker you can find me at youtube.com forward slash video psychic readings and I'm going to call that a uh, time for this particular video thanks for your time there and I hope to see you again